What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically, in today's video, what we need to talk about is the recent correction that is pretty much taking place on almost all the major cryptocurrencies, including the S&P 500. This is something we have been patiently, and I mean patiently, waiting for to happen, something that we called and expected to see take place on most of these major cryptocurrencies. Uh, as you guys can see, we've been tracking it on on our charts here for the past couple of days, if not weeks, we've been waiting for uh, the resistance to finally break, not what I'm uh, meant to do, but you can see pretty much here, each time we've been pretty much finding the top resistance expecting. We started to see consolidation, but we were expecting that break to finally happen, and it happened just yesterday, which is ex very exciting, maybe two days ago, my apologies. And now we're starting to see that uh, that slide to the downside here. Now, we expected XRP not to really go too low. That's what we're kind of seeing already here, where we are balancing off bottom support here, retesting that, kind of getting intertwined with the moving average. But the cryptocurrencies that we expected to get hit were Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the stock market. Ethereum saw a major drop in its price as expected perfect uh we dumped all the way from uh a resistance we were actually at a high of 1700 we fell all the way to 1500 which is a pretty substantial drop if you ask me and we did mention that and speak about it on patreon this is a little over 10 percent here this is about 11.3 percent in regards to the correction of the downside here we also have seen bitcoin fall from a prior uh resistance we were at at a peak of 24k we fell all the way down to 21k which is something we need to talk about and we're also rejecting off the S&P 500, which is really where I thought uh, that this would lead to correction within crypto. So the fact that we're seeing it now is not surprising or shocking to me. I do think we're, uh, this is a healthy correction for pretty much all the cryptocurrencies, including the S&P 500, temporary correction to the downside. And then we should inevitably see reversal back to the upside here as we create higher lows. With that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. All right, guys, before we dive into the technical analysis really quick i want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor medicaid as you guys can see here medicaid is the ultimate web3 community hub play earn build and connect currently their pre-sale is in progress here but they're basically a digital arcade which is really cool been featured in many 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 uh you know high 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 priority news outlets which is really cool and a lot of information that i don't want to go into right this very second but we will uh in later on in today's video but you guys can see the medicaid is the ultimate Web3 community hub where gamers and blockchain fanatics can communicate and collaborate. Their vision is to create a fun and dynamic virtual hangout for like-minded people to enjoy all things GameFi and experience everything that Web3 culture has to offer. It's really cool. They are very, very professional, and I really, really like what they have here. And the fact that they've landed and ma managed to uh, pull through uh, the crypto winter that we're seeing uh, definitely speaks volumes here. But more information on Medicaid will be uh, later on in today's video. They are also linked down in the description below. With that being said, diving into to the technical analysis you guys can see here uh top 10 cryptocurrencies market is down 0.18 pretty much consolidating but we are slanting lower in regards to the past week we're down 7.4 eth down 9.5 xrp down 7 cardano 10.5 doge down almost 13 solana down 17 all these cryptocurrencies are pretty much detrimentally sliding lower and lower and lower and it's kind of expected this is something that i was very excited to see happen here uh i kind of pulled out the xrp resistance a little bit here but strongly i do believe we are still going to be correcting to the upside here. I'm very bullish on the weekly charts here. The small correction that we saw right now today um, is totally fine or over this week. It was something that we expected and anticipated. We did buy it at 38 cents. We're currently retesting 38 cents, but I think it's a healthy pullback uh, and necessary. We just recently broke the resistance here. That's when we bought in. I do have uh, you know lots of XRP at 38 cents here, which is enough for me to believe that we are going to slowly but surely come, uh, come middle to end of 2023 here. I strongly believe we will be seeing uh, XRP closer to 55 to maybe even 95 cents here. That's really where I believe resistance will or where the price will carry itself out for XRP. XRP and why I'm super bullish on the weekly charts for XRP, even the monthly charts on XRP. The daily are a little, we're, we're pretty much good here. I didn't think we'd fall much lower than that. I mean, I say as a uh, conservatively, there's a chance we could fall down to 33 cents, but ideally, I think we're going to hug 37. We retested that, and I think that's pretty much it. We should be able to bounce up off that and move up higher. Uh, and the reason I believe that is because Ethereum had its drop that was necessary. Like we did see the fall. It's very possible we could continue this correction to the downside here. It is very possible. We're no longer overbought. We were overbought retesting resistances. We are overbought right here. Here at 86 in the RSI, which is a resistance of 1580. We even shot up higher. You can see it's kind of like um, like a, a, a 
bullet, a bearish divergence kind of where we have the price move up while the relative strength indicator moves down. You could see it's the opposite pattern happening. Regardless, doesn't even matter. We've now fallen back down to uh, 50, no, 45 on the RSI right here. And the last time we were here, you can see, we go back all the way here. The last time we were here, we were at 89. So from 89 down to 45 is definitely a good sign here. Uh, the last time we were retesting this, we were near overbought. We did break through it here, but hopefully we see maybe a different uh, you know, expectation here. And because we're now at 45, on the RSI, maybe we can hold out here and we could slowly start to skew up higher. Regardless, we're in this sideways channel and I've said and I will continue to say that until we see breaks uh, above or below these resistances, we're not buying in. Now, with that being said, I do want to talk more about Medicaid with you though. I want to give a huge shout out to Medicaid for sponsoring today's episode. As with all cryptocurrency projects, please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. So guys, Medicaid is the premier destination for gaming in the metaverse. It's Web3's first community arcade that allows gamers to hang out, share gaming knowledge, and even play exclusive PDE games. The platform offers users multiple ways to generate income, build careers in Web3, and connect with the wider gaming community. Medicaid will be the one-stop destination for users to play, earn, and even network with other passionate gamers worldwide. Once the project reaches the end of its roadmap, Medicaid will be handed over to the community as a full-fledged DAO. After all, Medicaid wants users to have a hand in shaping the GameFi world of tomorrow. Now, now, in recent news, the Medicaid pre-sale is selling out fast with Stage 3 coming close to an end. The pre-sale of the Play to Earn Metaverse Arcade saw its previous round sell out within four weeks, raising $2.7 million, but this has been dwarfed in comparison to the third stage, selling out at lightning speeds and getting the project to raise almost $5.5 million in just several weeks. Now, investors have an opportunity to still purchase tokens before the next pre-sale round, which will see the token price increase to 0.014 during stage four. Now, to make the ending of their pre-sale unforgettable, the team is also holding a $125,000 contest giveaway among the pre-sale participants. To take part in this giveaway, you need to purchase MK tokens for $100 and fulfill a few tasks. Moving on, Medicaid is set to deliver the ultimate blockchain gaming experience, merging the worlds of gaming and crypto in a seamless and exciting way. Development of the PDE Arcade is well underway and the platform designs have already been shared with their ever-growing Medicaid community on the Arcade's Twitter page. Russell Bennett, head of product for Medicaid, said investor confidence in the project is high and token demand is continuing to increase. We know that the Medicaid project has solid fundamentals, a strong team, and the power to make waves in the GameFi industry. It's clear that crypto and GameFi investors have caught onto this too. With an incredible momentum already behind the Medicaid project, it will not be long before the pre-sale tokens sell out and MCAID is released on exchanges. Now, the token will be listed on both centralized and decentralized exchanges, giving the public a variety of ways to purchase the token, but the platform boasts innovative and essential features such as leaderboards, trending games, GameFi Alpha, and more that will set it apart from other blockchain gaming platforms. Play to Earn is at the heart of the platform, but gaming isn't the only string to Medicaid's bow. It will be a place to earn, learn, and connect like never before. The Medicaid is powered by the MCAID token, which will be essential for any transaction on the platform. MCAID will also be used to reward players for their efforts across the platform, from gaming and tournament participation to sharing gaming alpha and writing game fi reviews mcade holders can also top up their income by staking their tokens to support the arcades network and the pde game fi platform received the ultimate seal of approval from the prestigious blockchain auditing firm certic so guys with all that being said if you want to invest in their pre-sale or are interested in their project make sure to check them out in the description of today's video and make sure to follow their social media to stay updated about the project otherwise shout out to medicaid for sponsoring today's episode and let's get back to the technical analysis so guys jumping back into the technical analysis super quick as i've said before uh seriously all we need i'm waiting for in since we are trading inside a sideways channel that we are familiar with and we've seen in the past here uh truly what i'm waiting for is how do we react with trading inside the sideways channel truly what i'm looking for is a either a break on the daily above resistance or below support. Simply put, if we close the daily below here, I expect to see a drop substantially down at maybe 1270, even lower, at least retesting the moving average. But if we can break above this resistance here, then I will buy long expecting a, a bullish run to the upside here. Regardless, we did say if you want to play aggressive, you could short this to the downside. This would have been a really good play over the past two or three days here. But we also said if you want to play very conservative, don't buy in until we break above or below these resistances. So we'd still be waiting for that conservatively here. Same thing applies with Bitcoin. 
Bitcoin, the expectation was, you know, we expected this to happen. We expected a drop to come within Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies. Reason being is we had an ascending triangle, which is a bearish, uh, you know, kind of tendency here. Although we did see a surprise bull, uh, bull trap, which saw the price break us to the upside here, almost retesting 25K, immediately reversed back down. Now we're getting slammed to the downside here. If this doesn't hold, if we don't hold above 21.2, we don't hold above this support right here, we are going to see an immediate reversal right back down, I think below $20,000. Now, if we were to fall this low here, this would send us into extreme oversold and it would not last at all. So I would be a little surprised if that was to happen. But um, I do believe long term, a lot of these cryptos since breaking through major ascending fractals here are headed up ideally to retest its moving average. I don't know why Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to go on the monthly. That's why I don't. Uh, we're heading back up to the moving average here. You can see we had a bullish break outside this descending fractal here, and I believe it is going to extend us up to retest moving average right around here, which is uh, a price target with a conservative uh, top, maybe closer to about yeah, I'd say 37k. So ideally, uh, on a lot of these weekly candles here, on Bitcoin's weekly, Ethereum's weekly, XRP's weekly, I'm very bullish. Short term, I am seeing this correction, but this might be the lowest that we see. Um, there is a chance though that we could slide a little bit lower. I'd say conservatively, I probably see Bitcoin head maybe to 20K. Reason being, I don't think the S&P is over yet in regards to its its drop here. Although you can see kind of some sort of uptrend. I'd like to think that that was it. Maybe not this. We could leave that on if we really wanted to, but I just don't think that might be it. I do think that there's a chance we could fall a little bit lower. I think the weekly might help us out with that. Ideally, we are creating kind of these higher low patterns here where each time we've, we've been falling now, we've been creating a higher low than the previous one. So I'd likely think the next drop might be something like this, and that would create that higher low pattern. I don't think this is it. We just started to reject off this top resistance, which is very good. It's definitely beneficial, and I do like the fact that we're rejecting off of this. And I think that that would mean correction is to come very soon here. So that's what I'm expecting is correction now to maybe swing us down to 3,900 points, maybe 4,000 points uh, conservatively, and then correct to the upside. So I don't think the drop is over yet. I think it's just starting here. But honestly, that's the rest. Uh, that's my opinion. Um, uh, huge shout out to Medicaid for sponsoring today's video. Definitely make sure to check them out. Link in the description. Smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.